hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is becky Setre. i hope you're doing well i'm a uk registered nurse and i do give tips and advice to overseas nurses carers senior carers about anything that would help you whilst you're living and working in the uk so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the 10 most common medication errors in the uk so this has to do with nurses and also some senior carers who are allowed to give certain medications. So if you want to know more about this, why not watch the video to the end? You're welcome back to the main video. If this is the first time you've come across my video, please remember to like, subscribe and share. So let's go straight into the video and let's talk about the 10 most common medication errors in the uk and i'll also talk about some tips that would help you to avoid these errors if you keep those tips in mind it will help you medication errors are patient safety incidents because these can lead to serious problems and so you have to be careful when you are administering any type of medication because if you've made an error that can lead to you know a bad outcome for a patient so the first on my list is giving the wrong medication these things can happen some people end up giving the wrong medication which you know can lead to serious problems the next one is wrong dose of medication. So in case you're supposed to be given 500 milligrams of a particular medication, instead of giving 250, two times 250, that is if that is how the medication comes in and you give them one, you underdose in them. If you give more than that, you, you know, so giving the wrong dose of medication is a medication error. The third one is not giving the medication on time. So if someone is supposed to take a medication 6, 2 and 6, you have to make sure you're giving it around that time. I know sometimes on the wards certain things can happen and you may not be able to, but medications have to be given on time. The fourth one is giving the medication to the wrong patient that is why when you're giving medication you need to make sure you check the identity of the patient you get them to repeat very personal or the ident patient identifiable information you confirm their identity before you give the medication to them the fifth one is giving the medication via the incorrect route of administration so let's say this medication has been um, prescribed to be given orally and then you go and give it per rectum or per rectum and you give it the other way or IV and you've given it orally or whatever it's an error so you have to make sure you avoid such things the sixth on my list is uh, failure to check um, allergies that's a serious one someone is let's say allergic to penicillin you haven't checked and then you have given them medication containing penicillin that can lead to serious problems for the patient as well the seventh is failure to follow directions for proper administration guidelines so in the uk some medications especially iv drugs we do have guidelines and protocols to follow as to how much uh, saline you should use to mix the medication so if you don't follow those guidelines and you give the medication the way you think is how it should be given it can lead to a problem and it's an error number eight is administering medication without the patient consent so in the uk anything you're doing with a patient you have to get a consent you have to explain to them what you're doing they have to say yes okay let's go on sometimes patient would ask you okay this is new to me what is it used for so you need to also ask for consent before you give them you cannot force a patient to take a medication if a patient refuses there are protocols to follow and you have to do that as well so don't say patients didn't want or did not consent and that's it 
find out what do I do if a patient refuses to take a medication after you are explaining the importance of why they should take it to them and all that. And then number nine is improper use of medication for example a drug used for a different purpose is or a drug which has been manufactured for a particular purpose is being used for a different purpose as rather than what the manufacturer wanted it to i looked up on this and actually there are situations where like in my role as a headache specialist nurse we use amitriptyline, which is for several things, for migraines. We use propranolol, which is for blood pressure. But all these things have been studied and have been approved for use anyway. But there are certain medications that have not been approved for certain use, but people use them. It's not right. And that could be um, a medication or is an, a medication error as well. The last one is missing a dose so someone is supposed to take a drug three or four times a day and then you they miss a dose because you haven't given it it's not going to work as it is intended to to work so these are some of the things so getting it right what do you have to do in order to get it right you need to remember uh, what we call the six R's in drug administration. The first R is the right patient. So check you're giving the drug to the right patient. The second R is the right medication. You need to check, am I giving the correct medication to my patient? The third R is the right medication for you. So whatever the medication is used for, is that what I'm using the drug for? The fourth R is the right dose. The fifth R is at the right time and then the six R is the right route. So if you keep all these things in your mind whilst you're administering medication, I believe you'll be fine and you will minimize um, medication errors. Sometimes as well, issues around interferences from either patients or other colleagues can lead to medication errors. But I hope my 10 common um, medication errors would help you in your day-to-day -day work as a nurse carer or senior carer. Anyway, all the best in whatever you do and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.